Welcome to our video on the rise and fall of the Tibetan Empire, a tale of power and politics that spans over two centuries of history. From the legendary figure of Songtsen Gampo, who founded the empire in the 7th century, to its eventual decline in the mid-9th century, the story of the Tibetan Empire is a fascinating one. We will explore the political and cultural factors that contributed to the empire's rise to power, its expansion, and eventual decline. Join us as we delve into the unique blend of religious and political traditions that define the Tibetan Empire and discover the lasting legacy it has left on the region and beyond. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive into this intriguing tale of power, politics, and ancient history. The Tibetan Empire, also known as the Tibetan Kingdom, was a powerful political and military force that dominated Central Asia from the 7th to the 9th century CE. The empire was founded by Songtsen Gampo, a legendary ruler who was revered as a deity in Tibetan Buddhism. Under Songtsen Gampo's leadership, the Tibetan Empire expanded rapidly, conquering neighboring territories and establishing diplomatic relations with China, Nepal, and other powerful states in the region. The empire was characterized by a unique blend of political, cultural, and religious traditions, drawing from both Indian and Chinese influences. However, the Tibetan Empire's Golden Age was relatively short-lived. Following Songtsen Gampo's death, the empire was beset by internal power struggles and external threats from neighboring kingdoms. In the mid-9th century CE, the empire was effectively dissolved, with its territories falling under the control of regional warlords and smaller political entities. The reasons for the Tibetan Empire's decline are still debated by scholars, but several factors have been identified as contributing to its downfall. One factor was the empire's dependence on a charismatic leader like Songtsen Gampo, whose successors were unable to match his military and diplomatic prowess. Another factor was the empire's extensive military campaigns, which strained its resources and led to internal instability. Despite its relatively short lifespan, the Tibetan Empire had a profound impact on the region's political and cultural landscape. Its legacy is still evident in the cultural traditions of modern-day Tibet, as well as in the spread of Tibetan Buddhism throughout Asia and beyond. The rise and fall of the Tibetan Empire is a tale of power and politics, showcasing both the potential and limitations of political and military expansion. And that's the end of our journey through the rise and fall of the Tibetan Empire. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of one of the most fascinating periods of ancient history. From the empire's founding under Songtsen Gampo, to its rapid expansion and eventual decline, we have seen how power and politics played a crucial role in shaping the empire's fate. Despite its relatively short lifespan, the Tibetan Empire left a lasting legacy that can still be seen in the region's cultural and religious traditions. We hope this video has inspired you to learn more about the history and culture of Tibet and the surrounding regions. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon for more fascinating explorations of history and culture.